Hey, it's Don, the Auction Professor. Today we're going to look at one of the most popular comic trios of all time, the Three Stooges. So without further ado, let's hop over and show you some of the values tied to collectibles from the Three Stooges. Hey! What's the idea of spoiling the game? I was for onesies. Well, here's twosies. Oh, oh. He was a onesie? You get into it. Uh, so here we are with probably the number one collectible in any field of this sort. You would want autographs of the people that you collect. Here's an autograph of Curly. I do believe it does have a PSA on this one as well. It's on a photograph, 8x10 from one of their films. $2,500. The primo, the top of the line for almost any area of collectibles in the entertainment area. Now photographs are always preferred, but here's a check written by Mo to somebody else on his personal checking account. Certified through Beckett's, it's been slabbed. 350 bucks basically for this one. The money's there. Now you may think, how's anybody gonna find this? He wrote thousands and thousands of checks. Back in the day, they always used to keep those or have them returned to the place of business. So when a business goes under, sometimes stuff like this shows up. If you know where they serviced or where they went to all the time, that sort of thing can show up. So nice item here. Now here's just a plain 8x10 of theirs. But this one has something special on the back, which the seller didn't advertise. It actually lists that they are going to be personally appearing at a theater on a specific day and a specific time. So this is probably a handout announcing that, hey, they're going to be in town. Really nice item. $321 it sold for. Now, comic books were one of the earliest things that they did happen to release. This is a slabbed one. It's a CGC. Now, call out on this one to Dom, Primetime Treasure Hunter. Comics are a thing of his as well. He's a friend of the channel. Great channel as well if you haven't checked out Primetime Treasure Hunter. But comic books in general sell for us very, very well. This is a perfect example of a Three Stooges tie-in. They even did 3D comics for the Three Stooges back in the 50s as well. $500 for this one. Now, 1959, Have Rocket, Will Travel came out, feature-length film with the Three Stooges in it, and they did a mess of tie-ins, including some trade cards and other things we'll show you in just a minute here. But this is just one of those toys that has nothing to do technically with the Three Stooges, but they marketed it, they put their picture on it, and were able to sell it that way. So, nice example, $444.00. 44 cents so nice example of this very very rare item especially on the card the card is most of this stop chewing that gum frightening will you throw that gum away Look, I got rid of it. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold still. I'll get it. Ow! Ow, my nose! Here's a lobby card from one of their films or probably one of their shorts. $575. A lot of these were extremely limited number of production, weren't needed. A good majority of what the Three Stooges did was short films back in the day, back in the 30s and 40s. So they didn't need lobby cards advertising an entire thing. A poster could have done it. So these are very scarce. Really nice items, something you just won't find every day. Now, back in the 70s and 80s, I collected non-sports trade cards, and this is a perfect example. This is probably one of the very first Three Stooges advertising or trade cards in general that was released. 1937 Pillsbury Farina, and it was something that you could have bought at the movie theater. On the back of this card is an advertisement for seeing them in movie-related items. We'll just flip that over there. This is a real nice example. It's not the most collected one, but it's one of the rarest cards that you can find on the Three Stooges. And it sold for $300, basically. Now, there's many different playing cards for the Three Stooges, but this is one of the earliest ones that I have seen. I believe this would tie to 1959 as well for Have Rocket, Will Travel. They promoted it immensely. They pushed out a lot of things, and it sold for $525. Just a super example. If it had the box, you could add three or $400 probably more to the price on this one. 
Now this next one's from the most popular set from 1959. It's the Fleer Three Stooges set. The first full card set like this. 96 cards, I do believe, was in it. This is well collected. Slabbed, excellent condition copies of these cards can sell for a thousand or more dollars. Sometimes well over that. This one at only graded eight sold for $600. So if you get some primo copies of these, you're going to get some really good money for them if they're gradable. So really nice card. This is also the first card from the set. So this one is the most sought after card next to the very last card, the checklist card. The top and the bottom of most stacks of cards as kids saved them back in the day were usually the cards that were damaged because many kids put string or rubber bands around them to hold them together. So these are the cards you want. Now here's a wax pack that wasn't open from them with the gum and the whole work still in it. This is how we would have bought it in the retail side of this. $500 for this one. Wrappers on their own sell for a few hundred dollars, but a sealed pack is really hard to come by. If these were graded, it could probably add hundreds more to the value also. Now this next one's a tie-in from the Fleer. The wrapper that I just showed you on the back of some of those, you could send those off and they would send you this beanie from the Three Stooges. It's the only way you could get this. Only way at all. It was a premium item, only available if you mailed off for it. So a lot of people didn't want to mail off and wait for it. $475. The beanie usually is all that shows up, but this has the whole kit. It has the card and the envelope that it came in the best way you would want to find this. That was sure hot, Mo. Hey, Larry. Listen. Now, the 1959 Fleer set of Three Stooges was so popular that they re-released it in 1965 through 66, and this display box here went for basically $1,000. Now, a 1959 wax box like this would have probably went for four or $5,000 if it was complete and unopened. Extremely scarce items. Snag them up anytime you would see them. Here's another tie-in to 1959. This is a hand puppet. They had them all. You could have gotten all three of the Stooges as a hand puppet just like this. Nice example, $750 because it's still sealed in the package. Usually all I run across are the individual puppets. I have never had all three of them together at the same time, nor have I ever had one in the wrapper like this. This is the scarcest version of this I have seen. Now here's a 1960s Ben Cooper Halloween costume for Mo. Ben Cooper is the name that was on pretty much all of them. They even made rubber masks going into, like, say, the 70s for Star Wars and other sci-fi and horror magazines. Ben Cooper had ads in all the backs of, like, famous monsters of Hollywood, Fangoria, and all of those sorts of magazines to buy masks and costumes as well. Three Stooges, as you can see, fairly scarce back then. It was $1.98, which is rather amazing. $277.50 for this one with multiple bids. Now here we have some Esco chalkware statues, probably from the 70s are where I see most of these from. They're 18 inches tall, they're solid plaster basically. Now these show up fairly often, we've had them many times before. Never the whole set all at the same time, maybe one or two, but that's about it. Really nice set here, 260 bucks. This is one of the better ones from the Esco chalkware series. Now let's hop up into the 80s. Here is a NES original Activision Three Stooges video game. I've played this. I owned this at one time. I would recommend it if you're a Three Stooges fan. If you didn't know it was out there, it's a really nice piece to find, especially in the box like this. Sealed as it is, 210 bucks. Just a real nice fine example of modern day collectibles of the Stooges. Coloring books are collectible as well. Here's an unused, uncolored in coloring book from 1916. It sold for $150. Nice example. The faces aren't the greatest on this one, but still, something that's fairly scarce. My save the best one for last. If you're not aware of the Three Stooges history, they originally performed with Ted Healy, just titled as the Stooges, basically. And eventually they split up and did their own thing. Ted Healy went on to do his own thing. But they originally performed that way. 
The first set of Stooges was also with Shemp and not Curly. Now, Shemp, Moe, and Curly are all brothers, if you didn't know that as well. Larry Fine was an add-in that they did vaudeville with and brought him into the picture back in the earlier days. So this playbill from one of their performances is something that just doesn't show up at all. Now, had this had pictures in it, you could have added hundreds of dollars to the value of this playbill here. Looking inside, though, their names are in it in several different places. Just a fairly scarce item. You just won't see it. Any historical collector of Three Stooges memorabilia would have loved to have had this. Sold for $122 without their pictures in it. Only buying it for their names listed in this booklet. For me, I have fond memories of watching the Stooges for many years of my life, so this is just a walk down memory lane, so to speak. But that's what I have for you today. Well, there you are. Hopefully that gave you some ideas and some thoughts. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell a friend. Hey, you boss. You was called to be a witness, wasn't you? Certainly. So was you. What are you buttoning in for? Uh -huh. You're supposed to be a good one, ain't you? Well, ain't I? Now, what are you disturbing the court for? <laughs> Get gone. <laughs>